Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Crusader Kings 2, and this is episode 158 of Long Live the King. We are Phil Gears Sigurdar Ring, excuse me, and I believe that we've finally managed to get the bitrate issue sorted out, so hopefully that all goes well. We'll see. It may be terrible. Hopefully it's not. Right, we're at war with a bunch of people. Um, basically, those guys. Yep, those guys. There are four of them. Um, and we're just sort of fighting our way through them. General winter's coming along, so that's going to be an issue. But hopefully not too much of an issue. And I think everything here is for now. We can actually form the Kingdom of Volga, Bulgaria. Where's that at? Oh, very nice. Well, let's grab that. Thank you. Always good to have to jewel claims on shit. Yeah. Piss off. There we go. Very nice. And we just got these guys marching straight on across to this place. Uh, apparently, we will have an intercept. And we're going to stop them there because they need to retake it. Oh, I am no longer shy. That's good, because shy is only a um, penalty. See, even at 469, we can still improve. Can't teach an old dog new tricks and all that. Yeah, we take massive goddamn attrition, but... Well, hopefully... We can deal with a little bit of that in our own territories. Hey, it was a wipeout. Very nice. Um, we are still taking attrition here, so and a lot of it, so we're just going to take that bit. Still a lot. Can we get out of there quickly? Not really, but, you know, that's probably the quickest we can leave. So hopefully we get out of there before we lose, like, um, patronage for this guy. We might gain the proud trait. No, I think Considering how much money it's worth, it's worth ignoring that. Alright. Down there again, these little pricks keep on coming around. Taking these places and shit. Good, we got out of there before too much attrition hit us. Um, really? We're still undermanned here? Well, take it back. And take it back. That should have done something for the attrition, and we're also going to head up to here. Try and get that one back too. Huh. Oh, the High Chief of Murom has decided to convert. Which is somewhat irritating. But also not really. So he is now of that faction. He's also still in the Holy War for some reason. It is not letting us enforce demands and yep, there we go. So that war was ended inconclusively. Because he um, decided to become a Norse. Okay, so we don't just do liege, and we do have a foreign culture. If we became his du liege, liege, we would be able to um, get above that. So the kingdom of Rus is his du jour. We need another four counties in Rus. So we're trying to conquer. Where are we trying to conquer? Where are we still at war with? Those places. All right. Well, that's fairly simple. You need to go there, and you can come on down here and deal with these ones. There you go, they're going to Sheremissa. So we'll actually go to Sheremissa ourselves, work our way around. Seems like a plan. So we're still at war with... Tozok. For Yaroslavl. Yeah, this should be fine. We'll also go to war with this guy for his shit at some point. Because 
we only need one more place in Rus, and that counts as part of Rus. So if we take that to Jura, it will be able to uh, maybe vassalize the other guy in Murom. Bit of a shame we couldn't just get Murom because that would have given us the, um, the kingdom of Rus. Yeah, fucking, I don't give a shit about that crap up there. Those dickheads fucking around with those little chiefdom titles. Well, they just called Mari back in, so that's annoying. <clears throat> Who actually called him back in? This guy, the chief of Chud. Well, I guess we better take the land that we're after then. God damn, still! This winter is getting bullshit. Well, not much we can do about it, unfortunately. How's our freight? We should be near... Yep, 69%. That's pretty significant. Uh, I want to keep on studying. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to flatter and soothe the mayor because fuck lowering taxes. Good work, Azov. Just have a little check around of some of these places. Maybe build them a few forts. If required. Really got to do something about that place. Alright, that's probably... No, we might be able to build one more fort for someone. There we go. I'll just check out to make sure that Alright, so they should all be fine now. I uh, just... Yeah, that's good. That's done. Um, where is hostile to us right now? I don't think that place is, but these ones are. So are we directly at War of Rostov? We are. Wonderful. So let's head up there. Snorri has returned. He is an Orthodox Varangian. Um... Oh good, the population in Azov has been converted. Good work, my love. Let's get you to the next one on the list, Kuban. And of course, we are out of money. Which makes no sense. Looks like we've lost... I oh, know we inherited a place. Uh, these two places here, apparently. Is that a duchy level title? Probably. Alright. Well, that just means we need a new dude to handle him. Uh, holy man. Now, just to check. No, they were not ducal level titles. Which is fine. I mean, you can still have both of them and we'll get rid of this army here. Thank you. And... Alright. Continuing on. Still this damned Kievian place. We can't get rid of it because it's like held by this same goddamn Jarl. Why doesn't he buy it? He's got the money. Prick. Oh, good work. Someone converted. Alright, good. Get to work. We need to put Torzok under control as well. This one's going alright, but we are getting a um, penalty because we don't actually occupy Yaroslavl, which we honestly should. All right. <clears throat> Check the imprisonment lists again. No, better to forgive and forget. We're big on forgiveness and forgetting. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. 
Stop it. Stop it. And stop it. We're no longer in red. He says he just loses a hundred bucks out of nowhere. Like, seriously, what the fuck? Be consistent. These guys are going to retake this place fairly... No, not as swiftly as I thought they would, but they'll still get it. Yeah, cool, whatever. Special Tyvan Upland. Wonderful. Okay, an architect has been brought before your court proposing the construction of a new castle in Gastric Land for less resources than such a massive project would normally require. Before you give him an answer, Ingyald af Iskandria, your steward, whispers in your ear. I know this man. I believe we can trust him. 400 gold in Gastric Land, which is this one here. Yeah, absolutely, because one of those would cost us almost double that. Build it. It might be an event chain. Might be a little weird. But we had the money, so... Whatever. Good, we're friends with one of our wards. That's excellent. Ah, good, we've occupied all of that land. Let's head up to... You know what, let's deal with that army first. Then we might have to deal with this army over here. And just generally... Torzok in general, though we're going to go over there, alleviate the siege on Holmgarda, and then come out round and do the thing. Would you fuck off? God, I'm going to love getting rid of those guys up there when the time comes. Good work, War Chief. You know. I kind of feel like putting the squeeze on the, um, on the orders. So I just want to check out, what do you actually have? A lot of shitty baronies. Wonderful. A lot of shitty baronies. Well, alright, let's just, um, now you know what, we're, we're involved over here in the east. I was going to wipe fret and uh, go from there, but we're involved in things. Important things. Hey, that'll be ours in a few turns, that's fine. I don't mind losing this one again. Yep, they're running away, 19th. Good stuff, so just after they move out, we will also move down to the south. Go. 10th of October. We've caught him. Will you rule one day? Uh, well, no, you won't, silly child. But if you deserve it, you shall. I mean, occasionally you have to lie to children. I mean, that's a fact. Oh, it looks like there's a couple of married revolts going around. Two of them, in fact... Well, that's good. Gives me a little bit of uh, room to maneuver. Alright, here's a battle. Pretty simple, really. Yeah, it's 75%, and we'll just quickly take some land. Ah, oh, good, that's happened. Um, now, he's going to try and move into Murom on the 3rd. I'm going to let him, and then try and come after him. We won't catch him. He's moving to Vladimir. That's all right. So we'll just move up to this one and deal with it. Probably going to try and head up there and deal with that shit. Which is, you know, eminently dealable. All right, that should be 100 there. It is. Thank you very much. Yep, wonderful. Now, that was a du jour war, so I don't have to worry too much about that. I'm going to plonk these guys down in Kostroma and then have them go north and deal with that situation. Yeah, cool, whatever. Uh, 
All right, let's have a look at our holdings to see if there's anything we can build there. There's nothing we can build there yet. Are you building that castle yet? Or like, what's going on? Smuggler's rings, apparently. You're built. Castle home, I'm pretty sure... No, oh no. Could use some castle fortifications. That's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with a few of those. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, stables. Yep. Castle fortifications. I don't want to drop too low in terms of money because, I mean, we all know that it flips around like crazy. So I think just a few castle fortifications should be good. Everyone can have castle fortifications. Well, mostly everyone because I'm fairly sure we don't have enough money to cover everything. And in fact, oh no, we totally will. No, maybe we won't. That's going to be too shy. Yep. Oh well. I'm sorry, uh, Salzburg. All right. How we doing? Yeah, there you go. Now we're just fucking totally in debt again for no good reason. Well, well, well. Thank you for informing me. Can I have him imprisoned yet? No. However, I can ask him to stop backing that plot, and he may refuse me. And if he does, I will then have him imprisoned. Got a little bit of a fight here. Should go alright. Ah, the assassins have been destroyed. Good riddance. That's just a holy order down. He will not withdraw his support. Why the fuck can't I imprison him then? Like, are you kidding? Alright. Well, we can't murder him either. That's a shame. Um... There's a knight. Yeah, welcome him in. Him in. Oyston, I think it said his name was. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh, there we go again. Oyster of Dunstaff Nash. Yeah. Alright. No worries. Or it could be this one here. Probably that one there. Okay. These guys are trying to get through that. That's okay. Kidnap that person, and that person, he's actually a pretty good commander. Alright, and now they're going to Kostroma, so we will just follow them. I know we've got attrition issues. It's annoying. Come on, that wasn't this one down here. Yes, it was. I knew I recognized that name. Alright, that means we need to reposition our lovely... Uh, Concubine slash Seer. And I guess the Crimea might be a good place for it. Yeah. That'll do. Alright. Wonderful. So that's 92% for Rostov. And we've actually kidnapped some children. So that's also pretty sweet. Um, assigned guardian, thank you. Not old enough. Not old enough. Old enough, good. Assigned guardian, thank you. Not old enough. Not old enough. Okay, good stuff. A bit of a battle here, that's fine. 
because we kidnapped this lovely young lady. Hang on. Yep, great, cool. Staccata's is back. That's fine. All right, this army here is in an attrition zone, but won't be as soon as they fuck off. However, that army is going to Vologda again, which is up north. So we're going to go that way, fight them on our way through to Chud, and lift that siege. As a responsible host, you provide the knight, Oyston, with fresh clothes and invite him to sup with you in your court. Oystein regards, regales you with colourful tales of his travels, much to the amusement of all present. You remark that he is so well travelled that he could have seen the edge of the world, to which Badil, my wife, responds that the world has no edge. Shut up, woman! In which case I gain 10 prestige and she doesn't like me a little bit, or perhaps I am mistaken. In which case I lose 10 prestige, which is like, come on, that doesn't even matter. She likes me a little bit more, and he likes me a little bit more. Because I am a noble ruler who has acknowledged his error. I'm also going to gain 10 piety. Because he admires my courage and nobility in admitting my mistake. So I now have a new friend. Ah, Let's get you married to someone. You know, really bring you into the family sort of thing. Hang on. Um, let's see, let's see. Any attractive ladies in the court? Yeah. What about geniuses? No. Quick? Yeah. Alright, let's just order them by age. Okay. I mean, we got a few, but they're mainly all um, gidges and that sort of thing. Let's see if we can do better this way. Because I don't care if it's matrilineal or not. That's one of my concubines. I'm not marrying you off to one of my concubines, mate. Nah, well, I guess you'll just have to continue on. You're fine. I'm trying to help out a bro. Alright. There's our little fight. Only a little one. Wiped him out this time, and we'll continue on to Chud. <sighs> I do not under... Like, I know why it's doing what it's doing. Oh, the castle we commissioned in Gastric Land has been finished. And in fact, its construction required even less resources than originally, originally planned. So, we spent 400 gold, and got 400 back. And now we own that castle. But what I'm going to do is um, vassalize it out to a gentleman by the name of Ulfir, which is fine. We must have gained a... Yeah, our stewardship must have really elevated us up a little bit there. So we gained... Um, get in there and fight, actually. We've won our fight in Rostov, so that should give us Yaroslavl. There we are. Very good. And we need to divvy that away. Now let's just have a look. Yep, so that's part of Yaroslavl there. Can we... Yep, we've got a ducal title for that. It's probably going to make us go into uh, negative money yet again. And we're just going to say that this guy, he's now the Jarl of Yaroslavl. There we are. Well, currently that's on, involved in an ongoing war because of the Logda, so we'll just give him the county title. And I guess we have to hold on to the Ducal title until this war is over. Who's still fighting this war? Marty and nobody else. Well, let's go help out the revolt a little bit. Actually, can we get to declare war on this guy? That's that revolt. And a bit down here. I'd rather declare war on this dude. Oop, not this dude. This dude here. And it'll be a conquest of, say... 
probably that. Oh, this one in here, it's got a castle. Okay, yeah, Conquest of Tver. Done, and we'll just sort of head in that way. Uh, this way we'll beat up that army and be able to retake some stuff fairly simply. Um, I want to go in there, retake that little bit of land. Not retake, but, you know, occupy it just to fuck with people. Because that's what we do. Heathens, yep, the usual. Alright, little fight here. Oh, we're going to get a lot of castle fortifications having been built, which is absolutely fine because we did that on purpose, kind of. Alright, now we're going to just take this land here and then sit on this siege. Nice and easy. Now, she's not a siege master. Do we have a siege master in the ranks somewhere? We do. He's in Tver. Ah. Well, that was easy. You guys, are you a siege master, Aslug? You are not. Do we have one in the ranks who isn't? Poor Brander? We do. Ragnar. Alright, get it going, boys. Yeah, 28 to 11. It's not the best, but you know, it's still pretty good. Better than it was. Better than it was. Where was the Duchy of Bolgar? I feel like we should have done something with that. Oh, yes, we were actually going to make that and give it to the guy just to get it out of the way. This dude. Congratulations. Now the Jarl of Bolgar. Good job. Wonderful. Um, keep it coming. In fact, we're almost there. Yeah, 80.4. That makes sense. We could tell that message to stop appearing, um, both the one about the budget deficit and the one about the usurpable duchy of Kievia, but that would make all usurpable duchy ones fuck off and, you know, things like that. How are we doing with these, anyway? Not that we've got... Uh, we don't even have the money to look at them, so fuck it. We won't. Get back to studying some uh, economics. Come on, boys. Good, that's that one taken care of, which is a 100% in the war for Chud, which gives us that little bit there. Which then means we can just give this guy the Ducal level title that we have. Yaroslavl. Done. All issues solved there. Now, who are we at war with? Alright. You boys can hop out, I guess. I mean, we're going to have truces of all of these dudes up here. Rostov, Chud, Pronsk, whoever that is. Do we have one of this guy? No, I don't think we've got one of this guy. We do not. Alright, so you guys are just going to sort of wander on down here non-suspiciously. Because that's a duchy that we can take. Good, victory there. Very positive. Come on. He's massively losing his actual battles. So we might still lose out on this one. If we do, we'll just have to declare war on one of the other revolutionaries. In which case, you guys can actually just sit there for a little bit. Be cool, as it were. 
as we check through the list real quick. Oh, there were a few kills, so let's deal with these idiots. Just stop it, guys, like seriously. Bad. In fact, I feel like we need to punch. And like, if we don't punch, we'll lose the whole thing. All right, that's 99%. Why is it 99? Particularly because we haven't won a major battle. Let's go win a major battle. And hopefully we'll be able to call that the end of the episode. You can be humble. Oh. In fact, he sent us a peace offer. Okay, good. Perfect. Alright, let's just tell our guys to move places. So these guys, you are moving down to there. You guys are holding for the moment. For the moment. Uh, ambition. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not appropriate. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of that. Yeah, it looks like this is already a county castle, or a, um, let's put the castle in charge, which is good, because we're going to get a holy man, and give him that place, the county of Tver. Done. Now, we can indeed usurp the kingdom of Rus, and we will do so next episode. So, in the meantime, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves, later.